Welcome back to another comic book breakdown on the channel and today we're looking at Uncanny X-Men 282 which is the first appearance of Bishop. So these are different variant covers that we're getting for this comic. In order from left to right is the ultra rare, the uncommon, the common, the rare and the secret rare. I love the common cover a lot here. I, of course being the original cover but also the colors really pop out for this one and the color scheme is really fun. The uncommon highlights Bishop while graying out the rest of the cover which looks pretty cool. It highlights the main character and the significant part of this comic. I'm not a fan of the Seeker at all for this one. I wonder if it's a better panel in the comic that they could have used, but it's a pretty dynamic look. The drop taking place on Friday the 25th of February at 8 a.m. Pacific time. There's a standard number of editions made up each rarity for the 30k edition comic drop, so nothing different there. And we have exclusive covers done for the Rare and the Ultra Rare by Carlos Gomez, with the Rare being a grayscale version of the Ultra Rare. We have exclusive covers done for the Rare and Ultra Rare by Carlos Gomez, with the Rare being a penciled version of the Ultra Rare, both featuring Bishop getting the first appearance treatment of being the main focus on the covers. I don't really pay much attention to the black and white look, though I like the fully covered ultra rare one here. Before we move on to talking about the comic itself, I want to let you guys know that I have a spreadsheet linked down in the description with all the resources that I've used and would recommend when it comes to VV. These people have created content that really helped me navigate the VV space. So you can find links to YouTube channels, websites, as well as the Twitter account, so definitely check out the content. On the same spreadsheet, I have another tab with the record of all the comics that have dropped on the app with each comic series, edition size and significance if you want to look at that. Now a quick run rundown for the characters in this issue. We see many of the popular X-Men characters here including Professor X, Storm, Jean Grey and Colossus to name a few. Listed as antagonists we have the Sentinels who are basically robots programmed to kill mutants and we have the Upstarts which is a group of people that murder mutants as part of a competitive sport almost. It's pretty interesting and I will leave links down in the description to the uh, websites that I've used to do some research so you can check that out. After all this of course we have Bishop having his first appearance in the comic world. Bishop is a character who is from a dystopian future and travels back in time. He was part of a team called Xavier Security and Forces and he had uh, heard many legends about the X-Men. He initially goes back in time to kill a couple of time traveling enemies and decides to join the X-Men, though he struggles to make himself feel at home. Bishop has appeared in the X-Men 90s cartoons and more recently in the X-Men Days of Future Past movie produced by Fox Studios. He's yet to make an appearance in the MCU though and we have we are getting mutants integrated into the Marvel Universe so he, there's a chance that he makes an appearance sometime soon but he's one of the less likely mutants to come up. A 9.6 CDC rated comic has a fair market value of 100 bucks, which isn't expensive compared to many of the comics that we got on PB so far. And it seems that, that there are many graded comics in circulation, so that could be the main reason that it isn't more expensive. Professor X, played by Patrick Stewart, making a cameo in the new Doctor Strange trailer, we can see a mutant crossover sooner rather than later, especially with the same actors from the Fox produced movies reprising their roles in their recent Marvel media, so that could be a um, catalyst for this comic to go up in price at some point. These are all three sources that I've used to put together this video and they will be linked down in the description if you want to check out more about the character and the storyline of this comic as well as the drop details and of course DB Twitter if you haven't if you don't follow them already. With this drop coming out in a market low the day before the expensive Aston Martin drop, this will probably go for peanuts on the market. I think the common and the uncommon will sit just above the 10 gem mark, similar to yesterday's jungle action number six. I predict that the rare will sit under 40 in the ultra rare under 80 with the seeker rare being around 245. I think this one is a hold since it's probably going to be very cheap on the market and has the first appearance of a proper MCU character. The cover of the comic especially looks very colorful and looks like it will be a great display in the showroom which may be another catalyst for this comic to do well in the market long term. A comic that we've already seen in the app that we can compare it to is X-Men 129 and that's a similar way that we have some first appearances of two significant X-Men members. 
we've seen the common hit about 20 power gems near the market high, so there's potential for this one to follow suit. I'll picking up a common and ultra rare to expand on my X Men collection, and maybe an extra common or two as a long term investment. I appreciate everyone taking the time to watch the video, and I hope that you've learned something and enjoyed it in the process. Once again, thanks for watching, and good luck with the drop.